what's happening YouTube welcome back to a brand new video today we are back with the Evolk and I think we have decided that we have called gonna call it Project Evolk now the comments on the last video so if you've not checked out the previous video where I do a reveal video make sure you check that out but on that in that video I asked what we should call this car there was some um, interesting options for names to say the least but I think we've settled on Project Evolk following suit we've done a Mark 1 uh, Mark 2 Audi TT and we called that Project TT and I've done an Alfa Romeo and we called that Project Alpha. so Project Evolk it is Now parts for Project Evolk have been turning up thick and fast. Today we're going to be concentrating on these. This is a full tensioner and pulley kit that we have got for this car. So we've got a spare couple of hours this morning where I think we're going to have a go at getting this done. It should only take us a couple of hours to sort. Now if you've not seen the reveal video, I'll insert a clip just there of the noise that this is making when it's running I strongly suspect it's a tensioner or a pulley so that's what we're going to be changing I've got a full tensioner kit I've got a brand new belt and I've got a full pulley kit as well so let's get the car unlocked which is a bit of a farce in itself and let's do this now the reason that this car is a farce to unlock is because the door actuators have failed in every single door which means what we have to do is press on the unlock button windows come down We then reach inside and open the doors. So my Volk has got the Inge of engine. Now I've heard some other stories about these engines since purchasing. Um, so hopefully we won't have them problems. Timing chains are, are prone to failing and stuff. But this, beside the noise that it's making for the pulleys, which I strongly suspect it's the pulleys, the engine actually just sounds sweet. It will benefit from a service, which we will be doing in a future video, but today we're concentrating on the pulleys, which are located just in this gap here. Obviously, we don't have access to the pulleys here, so our best form of access is taking the wheel off, car in the air, take the wheel off, wheel arcs lining off, and that should show us the side of the engine. <laughs> Cars in the air, wheels off, got a jack and a jack stand for safety. So what we need to do is get this wheel axe liner out. I think it's quite easy. Land Rover have actually thought about it and they've used plastic. I can even do it with my fingers, that's how much they've thought about it. They've used plastic um, nuts and bolts so they don't rust or rot. So I think it looks like the wheel axe lining is in two pieces. I just want to take this front section off. And our pulleys and tensioners are just in there. So let's get this wheel axe lining. lining is off bit of a farce but we've got it off these are so that's our main tensioner that double unit just there there's a, a pulley or a tensioner here there's one just up here on my hand is the water pump is located up there where them three bolts are the water pumps behind that cover and then that big one in the middle is our main uh, drive coming off the crank we've got um air conditioning pump and just above that is the alternator so that is what we're going to be replacing them two tensioners that pulley um, and the belts yeah and what i'm going to do actually is fire it up so we can hear that noise now that we've completely got the engine cover off so that's what i'll do switch it over camera audio quality is a bit better um, and we'll, we'll fire up the engine so you can hear the noise that i am hearing <laughs> So this is our noise, I'm not sure how well you can hear me, but this is the noise. Um, I think I might have got this wrong. I'm going to replace it anyway, because we're here. But I think it might be the actual coming from the timing chain area. Or maybe a, the water pump, I'm not sure. 
who knows we're here so i'll replace it um but it, there's a lot of noise going on i'm seeing that small space as you probably could tell so what i'm going to try and do is pinpoint where the noise is coming from kind of go from there but i don't know i'm not i'm not actually convinced now that it is coming from them pulleys and tensioners i'll be honest so we'll replace them but i suspect the noise is going to be there at the end of this anyway so here we go like i said i think it might be the timing chain the noise does sound like it's coming from behind this case rather than in front of it so if that's the case then i'm not going to be able to do the timing chain and i'll have to get some quotes to get it sent in but we're here so i might as well change these pulleys because we've got them and they weren't too expensive um and go from there so what i'm going to do first is just try and get a picture of the root of the belt so it goes up there and there and the reason I've done that is so I'm not struggling afterwards. Now, I need to slacken off the tension. So I've got the belt off there. So that is our belt off and next we're going to get this off while holding it on looks like a T50 and that is the tensioner off next two tensioners or pulleys we need to get off is this one here where my hand is it's quite difficult to show you this and then this one here you've got a cap on him so i'm going to pop the cap off that should expose our bolts right so bit fiddly a little bit fiddly it was hard to show you that last bit but i've got them two tensioners off so there's there's one of them and there's the one them two are off are they pulleys? I think they're the pulleys, so we've got our pulleys off and we've got our tensioners off. Now I said when I started the car, which I've shown you, that the noise actually doesn't sound like it's coming from this area. Well, it does sound from the area, but it sounds like it might be the timing chain, which is a big job. I've had a quick look off camera and just the the, t the chiming, the timing chain kits alone are, are ridiculous money, and I mean ridiculous. Just for the kits, you're looking at three, four hundred pounds. A lot of garages are charging eight hundred to a thousand pound labour. So if it's that, this doesn't fix the noise. I'll have to weigh up whether economical for me to carry on, or do I get out now and see where we're up to. But there is one kind of saving grace with that thought process if i'm honest and that is this now this is the tensioner it sits on the car just like so that's our dowel that we put in to to leave it in place so as you can see this side has got a cap on but this side hasn't and on our new one our gates one again we've got two caps so as we've just see what's what spin this one sounds fine spin this one sounds rough doesn't it it does it does sound rough so if you compare that to our new one it's quiet as a mouse this one again as quiet as a mouse but that one that will make a racket at high speeds i feel a bit better knowing that now would that noise be enough to get the noise that we're getting I guess there's only one way to find out let's get this old one Sorry, let's get the new one back on the car. Time for the tensioner, which sits just there. I don't know if you can see it on camera where my finger is. There is a locating dowel or a locating groove just there. And as you can see on the back, is a dowel that sits so that needs to we need to ensure that that sits nicely in there that's that on so our tension is on pulleys and now on i just lost my chuffing bit and the last thing we need to do which i definitely going to be able to film is is put our nice new shiny belt on so i'll get that on 
just a time lapse because it's going to be awkward as it is without the camera even being there. And then I'll show you when we're releasing the tension on, onto the bed. <laughs> So our new tension and pullers are all on, the belt's on and it's secure, you just need to make sure you get it on the rib bit. It's a bit confusing because just on the tensioner, usually it's the smooth part that runs across the back of a tensioner, but on this one, and I've definitely double checked it and it is right, this actually has the rib part on it. Just to show you, if I look on the old one, you can see there's actually like where it has been rubbing on it. So this is the moment of truth then, like I said, listening to it, I might suspect it's the timing chain but then that tension is noisy. Who knows, who knows what's about to happen. So, I've got the GoPro down there. I'm not convinced this is gonna have got rid of our noise, but we'll see, let's go. Oh my God, it's as quiet as a mouse. It's as quiet as a... Listen to that, it was that tension. Listen to how smooth it is. We've only got and fixed it. Right, so I'm over the moon that we've got this, that it was that and it weren't the timing chain or something more expensive than, than the tensioners. I'm absolutely over the moon. Next thing we need to do, get this car back together and get it on the floor. <laughs> back on the floor so what i'll do now is i've actually still got the clip of the whiny tensioner from the reveal video that i did on the car so i'll set the camera up and let you have a listen to the engine now and what it sounds like properly um, it sounds a million times better it's due a service still so that will be the next video the next video i'll be back out here again in a couple of days i'm going to give this car a full service i'm changing everything oil oil filter pollen filter fuel filter and air filter I forgot what that was called, air filter. So that's the next job, which we'll be doing in the next couple of days. So let's have a listen to this engine. Let me show you what it sounds like now. So there you go, the car is running behind me. You'll know from the reveal video if you've watched it that I wouldn't have been able to stand in front of this car with the engine running and then bonnet up and you'll be able to hear me as clear as you can. The tension is the pulleys in the belt have certainly fixed that noise and I'm happy that it was not the timing chain because I'd have probably got out of the car and not committed to fitting a timing chain to it. But back on the road now, let's shut the bonnet, turn the engine off, let's get to the outro. So that's it then, that is it. Job number one is done on Project of Oak. We've named the project. Project of Oak is fitting considering how, what I named my other project. The first job is done. Engine signs a million times better. Next video, like I said then, we're gonna be giving this car a full service. Engine oil, oil filter, air filter, fuel filter, and pollen filter all will be changed on this car before we try and tackle that big problem of clearing the DPF that we've got. That's the big one in it. That's where we're gonna either financially commit a little bit more to the car than we'd like, or we're gonna be able to fix the problem ourselves on the drive. Who knows? Thank you very much for watching this video. Comment down below. Yeah, this is an easy DIY job for you guys at home. Comment down below what are your thoughts? What would you like to me to see what would you like to see me do with the Evolk once it's back on the road? Thanks very much for watching. Like, comment, make sure you press that subscribe button. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers, currently at 1,601. Let's not forget that one. Please, let's get to 2,000 subscribers. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. But one last thing before we go, we need to lock the car, so let's do that. Car's now secure. Remember, subscribe. See you on the next one.